you guys aren't gonna believe this. So I was making the video and I got an email when I was making the video saying your package is out for delivery. That bike was shipped 10 days ago. It was delayed in transit. Then I got an email saying it was gonna be Tuesday because Monday's a holiday. I'm like, what, out for delivery? So I go over there, the bike shop's closed, but I parked there for two and a half hours to sit there, nothing. And I call um, one of the guys that works there, he says, hey man, we actually have a note in the uh, FedEx um, customer service not to deliver because we're not open on Saturdays. I'm like, you know what, all right, I'll just stay here for another 20 minutes and I'll go. You know, I'm not really religious, but my wife is, and she said, God works in mysterious ways. And I'm like, you know what, I'm like, let me just drive on the other side of the neighborhood that I've never been in. And I'm driving, and I look to the left, look to the right, you know, the streets are going by. And I look to the right, and I see the FedEx driver. And look, look at that. It's there. I'm, I wave at him. I'm like, hey, stop. And he's like, what? He like waves at me to say hi, but I'm like, no, no, stop. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't call the cops. I'm like stalking the FedEx driver. And I uh, show him my driver's license. I'm like, hey, man, sorry to bug you, but... You're not gonna deliver the bike to the shop. I, I picked the shop because I was gonna have them put it together for me, but they're not open, so I'm just gonna gr uh, grab it and I'll put it together myself. I have all the tools. He's like, all right. <laughs> so he goes and grabs it, helps me put it back in the truck. And uh, I'm like, man, you know, God does work in mysterious ways, guys. Because something told me, you know, Art, just go. So I sat for two and a half hours and then I went driving around and I found him. So let's get back to the house and uh, let's unbox this thing. All right guys, I'm back. I was making a video about the stuff that I got for the bike and I got that notification, like I said, the bike made it to the house. Um, there is some kind of uh, holes and some damage in the box there. Some right there. None right there. We're gonna open it up and do an unboxing. I don't like how Epic Cycles opened it up and they had to do a software update. I guess with the specialized agreement, the shop has to open it like pre-assemble and do a uh, software update before they can ship it. I would prefer them to leave it packaged, send it to this bike shop here, and let them unbox it and do the software update because they are a specialized dealer. But whatever, it is what it is. If there is any damage, I am making this video. And um, if something is wrong, uh, I'll notify Epic Cycles and I'll have to give them a new bike. I'm not gonna accept any kind of partial refunds or um, any kind of credits. I paid for a new bike, I paid for a mint condition bike, and if it's not mint condition, if it's not in a new condition, I will be requesting a refund or a new bike. But yeah guys, let's uh, uh, turn the mic around and then we'll unbox it. Alright guys, got my fancy unboxing knife. This is actually my dad's. Um, after he passed, my mom gave it to me, so this is going to be always with me. But uh, let's go ahead and open it up. Like I said, I hope that uh, no damage. And it looks like they opened it from the bottom because the, the top is still uh, glued shut. They put the tape on it, but... I think when they taped it up, they did it backwards. Doesn't look like there's any damage yet. But I just sold the bike and it came damaged to the customer. So hopefully mine is not damaged. All right. It looks like it's packaged nicely. Dropper post. And it's not, cable's not ran. That's gonna be a pain in the butt to do. What else they got here? Trash. Trash. Another box. Oh, that's the handlebars. Here's the wheel. Now I do like how they used their uh, tape and they taped up the wheel so the wheel wouldn't come out and damage the bike. Because I bought a, this is my third Levo. My second Levo a company did the same thing. They opened it up, they did a download. They didn't use the box and the bolt for the wheel. It marred up the whole frame. And I was so unhappy. I was, I was furious. That's why I don't prefer going this route. Uh, this should be the, what? This is the front wheel. Now, 
you obviously guys know it's a specialized box. Um, I got me a 2024 specialized comp alloy in S4. And I'll share with you guys why I went with this color and why I went with alloy in a second. So let's put the wheel to the side. And uh, it looks like everything's good. Um, I do like how specialized uses special kind of uh, pieces of boxing um, to basically enclose the bike so there's no, no damage. A little change of plan, I'm gonna put it on here and then knock um, it down and I'll install the uh, dropper post. All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and turn it around this way. Will it fit in here? Okay. It fit on there. Guys, I'm telling you, when, when you take care of your bike, any bike, you'll be able to resell it for a good price if it's in good shape. That's why all my bikes are pristine. I'm going to show you guys in a second the color. Let me turn the light on while it's already on. Can't really see that good. Um, it's called Midnight Shadow. So it's like a, it's like a, like a grayish, like a matte gray, and uh, it has gold decals. Um, the reason why I went with this color in the 2024, it came with a mastermind display. So the electric display, you can change different modes. You see the battery life, percentage, all that kind of stuff. All the other colors and spec do not come with the mastermind display, only this one right here. Another thing guys, it's in the manual. Um, if you get the S-Works carbon, it's only rated for I believe 245 pounds, obviously with gear. Um, the comp carbon is rated for 275 pounds and the alloy is rated for 300 pounds. I actually ordered a, a S-Works carbon, which I'm gonna build up, but I just found out the weight limit, so I'm probably gonna just build it and sell it, unfortunately. But this is an alloy comp. It's rated for 300 pounds, and it has a master bind display with a 300 watt hour battery and a 90 newton meter motor. That's why I went from Trek to Specialized. This is my third Specialized Turbo Levo, guys. My third one. Uh, as of right now, no damage. Thank you, shipping gods. I had the worst luck with bikes. Uh, three of my bikes that came got damaged. The last one was on the other side right here from the wheel. And looking at it right now, uh, I don't see any damage. So thank you, thank you, thank you. No damage whatsoever. Underside, nope. Wow, guys, they actually uh, put bike protection from factory on the, on, uh, on the belly here. And there's also protection on the, uh, the rear triangle and then a plastic protection cover here and on the back on the back side of the uh, the down tube wow I actually bought ride wrap I might just utilize all the other pieces with this and then leave the factory stuff and of course I'm gonna go with the gold mud guard from uh, Cycle MTB all right guys let's uh, keep, keep opening this up and uh, make sure that there's no damage. Honestly, if there's like damage on the fork, I don't care because I'm going to be upgrading that and the handlebars. I'm very happy how Specialized went an extra step in to protect this. They even put a piece of cardboard here with a zip tie so the crane doesn't spin around. I love that. Uh, let's see if I can. Cut the zip tie. Did that. Anything else? Any more zip ties? Nope. Okay. We'll uh, take off this piece of cardboard. And I'm going to keep this piece of cardboard. All these, all these pieces because if I ever sell the bike, I can just rewrap it with everything that came from uh, the factory and ship it out. Look at that. Even the crank arms are protected by the stone protection. Kudos to Specialize. Kudos. All right.
What's next, guys? What's next? Uh, I'm gonna try to remove that. It does have a chain guard. No damage there. No damage there. Wow, guys. As of right now, this bike is in pristine condition. Pristine condition. This is the first time <laughs> I got a bike in a long time that didn't have any damage. That's why I hate the shipping process, but obviously all bikes get shipped, right? When they get built and shipped out to the to the store. The only difference is if you buy it from the store, obviously if you see it at the store, you're not going to take it, right? You can actually see the bike in person before you buy it. That's the only flaw when you buy a bike online. But guys, I got this from um, Epic Cycles. They have like four locations. I think Florida, California, Colorado, and Houston, I believe. Uh, Texas and Denver, Colorado. And uh, I didn't pay any tax or shipping. That saved me a lot of money. That's why I, I bought it online. So let's go ahead and keep going at it. Remove this zip tie. Which this one's going to be a pain in the butt, I can tell already. Let me see if I can grab it. All right. No damage on top. No damage there. So I can say the bike did arrive in great condition. No damage to the bike. So anything that happens now is going to be on me. Now this did come with code, uh, code R brakes. It came with a 200 mil in the rear and a 220 in the front. And this guy is a mullet. So it's a 27.5 on the rear with a 29 in the front. That's why I went with a 27.5 push score in the rear. I'll probably go ahead and order the one for the front. Why not? It is alloy now, so it really doesn't matter on weight wise. Now carbon is stronger than alloy, but after owning so many bikes, carbon, uh, aluminum, I had a half carbon, half aluminum, which was a cube, and um, Norco. I've noticed that alloy bikes absorb more vibrations and bumps than carbon. So I think I did the right thing by going um, alloy this time. And uh, this came with the SRAM drivetrain, uh, Kodar brakes. I mean, 200 in the rear, 220 in the front. I really don't have to upgrade anything. I think it's a Fox 36 because this is a comp. And the rear uh, also has a Fox X float. It does have the, uh, the damper, which is good. I'll probably have to get a token. I always have to add a token in the rear and I always have to add a token in the front because of my weight. But let's go ahead and open up the, the handlebar. Again, I do like how they you know, do very, very nicely on the packaging. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the handlebars on and uh, kind of get it semi together. And then I'll show you guys the, uh, the the complete bike. Now, since we're putting the bike together, let's go ahead and install the mud guard from uh, Psycho MTV. I'm going to be giving away um, two for the uh, comp alloy, and I'll be giving them away one for the uh, uh, carbon model. And they did give me a, a decal to match my my front there. These are very easy to put together, guys. What I usually do, I'll run the zip ties through first, like so. I haven't done it with the new model, Levo. And I, I like to do it where the, uh, the zip tie lock is facing up. And there you go, we'll just uh, put that on like so. Make sure it's snug. And there you go, guys. That's how easy it is to install these mud guards from uh, Psycho MTB. Now there's others out there guys, but not like this because these are uh, made for your bike. They're molded for your frame so they sit nice and flush with your bike, which I love. It gives you more clearance because you don't think about that. You know, aftermarket ones, they kind of just sit against the uh, triangle these go inside and they sit flush with the triangle it gives you more clearance look at all that room this is i think 2.6 inch tires 
And uh, look at all that clearance. I mean, look at this, guys. It just looks like it came from factory. It protects the bottom. You see this? It's lip. So this is actually not even needed anymore, but I'm still going to have it. But look at that. They even did a cutout for the chain so the chain doesn't hit that and get in the way. And this was molded to go over, wrap around the triangle, and then the holes for the zip ties. Look at that. The gold. Match this. What do you guys think? Look at that. You know, doing this small stuff right here will protect your investment. This is an investment, guys. Yes, it's an exercise bike, you know, get you riding in the trails, but at the same time, I like to protect my investment. There's a reason why I keep going back to Specialize. You get 90 new meters of power, you get a 700 watt hour battery, and the other thing is customer service. You get great customer service with Specialize. Yes, you pay for more. Um, for the spec, it's expensive, but I pay for service. I pay for service. So. Let's finish up and then uh, we'll go over the bike. Look at that. The brake's spinning nicely. Don't have to adjust the rotor or anything. The gears operate smoothly. The dropper works. I just put some pedals on, put some air in the tubes. I'm not gonna do the cush core today because I'm waiting for the black cush core valve stems. They come with the green ones, but I'm trying to do like a black and gold scheme here. So I'm gonna wait for those to come in tomorrow and I'm gonna put the push core in the rear and I'll probably order one for the front. This again is a mullet setup, 27.5 with a 29. That's another reason why I went with the Specialized. But man, this thing is looking good, looking good. I actually, Went ahead and touched this up. I had some anodized touch-up paint. You can't even tell us there. I mean, it is it's missing some metal right there. But I'm not worried about it. I'm going to get an upgrade. Fox just released their, I think, what, 50th anniversary gold edition fork. So the whole thing is gold. And what do you think, guys? Will it match the decal? Huh? I'm thinking about getting a Fox 38 gold edition for the front with the coil fox on the rear. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about that one. I haven't even turned this on yet. Let's see, does it turn on? Ooh, look at that. Guys, wow, 100% battery charge. What? Turbo, trail, eco, off. So it's got three modes, off mode, eco, trail, and turbo i love this little small remote all these other companies you guys need to go with specialized idea here i mean look how compact and flush this is we'll tell you your speed you can change all this you can adjust the power in small increments on the fly if you uh, want to adjust your power which is pretty pretty neat and look at the small controls it just makes the bike look so slick it's like batman bike again guys i am in love with the with the mud guard, it, like it's made for the bike. It it looks like it's came from factory like that. Look at that, amazing. All right, well I'm gonna take it around the block, and I'm gonna see how this thing rides. And look at that big old 220 mil rotor in the front. That is crazy. My first ride, guys. My first ride around the street. Now a lot of guys say that. The display is worthless because you can't see anything. Guys, this is daytime. The sun's out. I don't know if you can see. I can see the miles per hour very easy. I can see the battery. I can see the the speed, the mode. And it's bright outside. So I don't know what people are talking about. The display is worthless. I love the display. This S4 is a perfect size, guys. S4 is basically a large. S5 is a extra large. For me, it, it fits just right. I can actually do a medium even, but I think medium would be a little more playful and nimble. Um, but I'd like to have a bike feel more planted feel. So I think this S4 is gonna be nice. Look at the color, guys. It's like a matte gray with a little sparkle to it, like a, like a sheen. 
man, the geometry of this bike is insane. And I forgot how quiet, uh, I forgot how quiet the motor was on the, on the specialized turbo Levo. Battery is still 100%. Uh, I am in trail mode. Again, this only has three modes. It has the um, uh, the Eco, Trail, and Turbo. I'll never use the Turbo mode. This thing has 90 newton meters of power. But look how quiet the motor is. I must say, guys, uh, the Bros motor is probably the quietest motor out of all the motors out there. And it's got the most power. And with this newer style of uh, bike with the control and the Mastermind display, it's just so, so uh, confined and uh, slick, you know, just everything's flowing together with the bike it is crazy wheels are fine i'm gonna probably i usually always upgrade the the tires to like maxes or um some e mazas but i think i'm gonna stick with these ones but yeah guys i uh will probably just use up these uh tires and then i'm gonna upgrade the tires these come with the butchers i believe specialized butchers i do hear you hear that so looks like i might have to adjust the brakes but uh other than that everything else is working good the brakes brakes feel okay not as good as the Hayes dominions a4s but uh they'll do um, a lot of guys they, they usually upgrade the rotors not the rotors the uh the pads and it makes the brakes a lot better so i do got to put some more air in the shock but other than that everything else is good dropper works good brakes work good uh everything else is pristine all right <laughs> 